simple instruments like a tuning fork or a recorder have very simple sound patterns which are displayed on the oscilloscope as you can see as a sine wave so if I play a la or an A on a recorder what's called the waveform is very similar not quite identical but very similar to a sinusoidal curve if instead I play a tuning fork the curve is perfectly sinusoidal all other instruments however have completely different waveforms they are much more complex there is only one frequency associated with the tuning fork so if we look at the Fourier spectrum for the tuning fork we only see one frequency in this case 288 Hz if we look at the spectrum of frequencies or the Fourier spectrum for all other instruments however we see that uh, there are many components and in fact the waveform that we can see on the oscilloscope if I change settings are more complicated I'm gonna start from the simplest of instruments my voice and play or sing a few vowels so for example uh, has a complicated shape which is different from a, e, o, u. u is the most sinusoidal one but it's not perfectly sinusoidal there isn't a single wavelength there isn't a single frequency going on so the Fourier spectrum in a small complex, the waveform, where all of the different sinusoidal waves, each with its own frequency, overlap, add up to one another. So we can look at a variety of other instruments. For example, we have some percussion instruments here. We can see brilliant. A xylophone, more percussions with drums and plates, and finally a whistle. This is a slide whistle. Where the frequency changes as I slide. as you can see and by changing the length if I look at the guitar the waveform is very complicated the Fourier spectrum shows different harmonics so I'm playing the last string here and those of you that have perfect pitch may recognize that if I play the full length of the string or half a length of the string this is twice the frequency and half a length is precisely where these two dots are on the fingerboard of, the, of a guitar. The frets are these vertical bars placed along the fingerboard so that the musician can play their finger, can put their finger between two frets and the effective vibrating length of the string is between a fret and this part which is called the bridge. So all of this have complex waveforms and complex Fourier spectra with a variety of frequencies all playing at once. Thank you. I'm here with Zach Tins, a professional cello player who is going to play an A for just a brief moment so that we can take an oscilloscope reading as well as a Fourier spectrum of it. Zach. Thank you. Why don't you give us some of your art? Thank you. 
very much, Zach. Thank you.